What is the evidence that supports Cassie's allegations of abuse against Diddy? Let's discuss. We decided to do the book because um, I'm not a rapper, obviously, or anything like that. But I've been in the business and been around the business. Cassie, I will advocate for you. Because, see, I know something that a lot of people don't know. I know that you and Kim Porter had a sit down right before she left us. So, Jaguar Wright just dropped a bombshell backing Cassie's take on what really could have happened to Kim Porter. And it has been bombshell after bombshell. The book covers a bunch of inner stuff, like footage of Diddy's gay relationships and encounters with different guys. Even Cassie's husband had something shocking to say about Diddy. Yeah, he's he's a, he's a specimen. There's talk about whether he gave Usher an STD and this explosive incident between Diddy and Usher's mom, Mary J, who apparently had a pregnancy scare with Diddy. And you won't believe it, she had an abortion. Hip-hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs has been accused of beating and s***ing his ex-girlfriend and singer Cassie. She filed a lawsuit against Diddy in New York federal court. Then there's the crazy story about Kim pushing him down the stairs in 2007, resulting in a broken foot. Now, Jaguar Wright has spilled the beans on Diddy settling his lawsuit with Cassie. She claims Cassie knows about what Diddy did to his ex, Kim Porter, and has been trying to expose him for years. Rumors have been flying around that Diddy might have had Kim eliminated because she was planning to write a tell-all book. Some people who used to work for Diddy even say they saw him getting physical with Kim Jean Deal, a former bodyguard of Sean Diddy Khan, spilled some shocking details about Diddy's past relationships, particularly with the late Kim Porter. According to Jean, Diddy physically abused many of his past girlfriends, including Kim. Put his hands on her in the wrong way. And Kim took one of those court screws and ripped his wrist up. In a video, Gene laughed at what he saw as Diddy's insincere grief over Kim's death, alleging that Diddy broke Kim Porter's nose at one point. Gene called out Diddy in a YouTube video, saying, You used to be a woman beater. Talk. Talk about how you used to beat Mrs. Hilton. Talk about how you tried to beat Kim's A. When asked about Diddy's song titled Kim Porter, Gene sarcastically commented, I think that's a great thing to do for the woman you claim to love. He added humorously, to honor the woman who gave you a scar on your wrist for the rest of your life that you could always look at and remember. Jean recounted a violent incident between Diddy and Kim, stating that Kim defended herself with a corkscrew, leaving a scar on Diddy's wrist that required hospitalization. He described their relationship as violent, noting that Kim couldn't be with anyone else while Diddy had more freedom. Even during Diddy's relationship with J-Lo, Jean claimed that Diddy controlled Kim's life and made it uncomfortable for her if she tried to move on. When asked if Diddy regrets subjecting Kim to abuse, Jean dismissed it as a facade for the public, saying, all that looks good for the media. Jean also revealed that Diddy allegedly used the bodyguards during his abuse of Kim. This interview took place before Cassie filed a lawsuit against Diddy. Other women associated with Diddy's record label, including Aubrey O'Day and Don Richard, supported Cassie and disclosed Diddy's attempt to have them sign non-disclosure agreements, NDAs, to silence them. In her lawsuit, Cassie Ventura detailed her experience with Diddy, claiming that he forced himself on her when she turned 21. The lawsuit alleges instances of manipulation, providing drugs, and control over various aspects of her life. In the course of their relationship, Combs exhibited physical violence towards Ventura, reaching a point where she needed medical attention. When Ventura was 22, Combs initiated what he called freakouts or FOSS, during which he supplied her and another person with excessive amounts of drugs, including ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, and alcohol. This enabled her to disassociate during these traumatic encounters, often requiring four fluids afterward to recover from the substances forced upon her, according to court documents. When Ventura resisted participation, Combs' security team would coerce her to comply, and attempts to escape were thwarted by Diddy's employees. In September 2018, Ventura, determined to end the relationship, alleges that she was raped by Combs. The lawsuit details a harrowing incident where Combs forced himself into her apartment, disregarded her protests, and proceeded to attack her.
the lawsuit emphasizes that she will carry the physical and psychological repercussions of over a decade of violence, fear, and exploitation. Ventura is not the only woman to come forward. Aubrey O'Day, a singer in a group formed by Combs, claimed he tried to exploit her and alleged she was fired for not complying with certain expectations. Combs' ex-girlfriend, Virginia V, made similar accusations. He, like, stomped on my stomach, like, really hard, and I, like, took the wind out of my breath. I couldn't breathe, and he kept, but he kept hitting me, and I was, like, pleading to him, like, can you just, can you stop? I can't breathe. In an emotional interview, she described instances where Combs pressured her to terminate pregnancies and the emotional toll it took on her. Virginia Fye also recounted a distressing situation in August 2022 when she got pregnant again, suggesting an element of coercion. Despite her reluctance, Combs insisted on an abortion and left for Burning Man right after the procedure, leaving her emotionally distressed and feeling abandoned. Cassie's legal team asserts that they had a meeting with Diddy's lawyers before the lawsuit was filed. Allegedly, Cassie was offered a substantial sum, described as eight figures, to keep silent and prevent the lawsuit from being filed, a proposal that Cassie turned down. The settlement disclosed on Friday night and conveyed by Cassie's attorney, Douglas Wigdor, is portrayed as an agreement that satisfies both parties. In statements, both Cassie and Combs expressed their satisfaction with the resolution. Cassie mentioned, I have decided to resolve this matter amicably on terms that I have some level of control. Combs, despite vehemently denying Cassie's claims earlier, also stated that the resolution was amicable and wished Cassie and her family all the best. Although they've settled their legal disputes, Diddy has frequently been in the spotlight for controversies, notably when his former girlfriend Kim Porter passed away from pneumonia. There was controversy surrounding certain comments made by A.L.B. Schur regarding the model and actress's death. In 2018, Kim Porter, the former girlfriend of Sean Diddy Combs and the mother of his three children, passed away in her sleep due to a lung infection. As reported by the Los Angeles police, the 47-year-old actress and model were found lifeless in bed on November 15, 2018, and her death was ruled accidental. Porter's goddaughter discovered her in bed at 8.30 a.m. the next day, initially thinking she was asleep. In 2018, a medical examiner mentioned that Porter had complained of a sore throat on November 7, which developed into a 102 degrees fever by November 12. By November 14, Porter's fever had dropped to a normal 96 degrees. That night, she had a deep tissue massage and watched movies with her family before going to bed at 11.30 p.m. According to the medical examiner, Porter passed away from lober pneumonia. After her death, her ex-husband A.L.B. Shore, the father of her son Quincy Brown, shared on social media, she sent me this saying life imitating art, art imitating life, now it all makes sense. Even now, some internet users continue to accuse Diddy, although Shore did not directly mention him, leaving fans with suspicions. Amid the growing speculation surrounding Porter's death, ALB Shore took to social media to clarify that she was participating in a marathon. However, he later returned to the internet to express concerns about Porter's health, claiming in the Judiciary Report that she had plans to write a tell-all memoir about Sean Combs and other Hollywood insiders. Unfortunately, she passed away before realizing that. Subscribe for all the latest celebrity news first.